Hey folks, welcome back to Selenium Web Driver series. In this video, let's try to run, uh, you know, the test on different browsers. Basically, this would be your very first test. Okay, so let's get started. So in the last video, we had completed all the setup. So we will write the very first. So first, make sure that you have a website, Selenium website handy which is selenium.dev okay so here you will get to understand lot of things if you want any uh, thing to be like what are the methods used all that you can keep this website as handy okay this documentation we have already created the object of chrome driver so next what we will do is we will say driver dot get so we have to set the url so let's say Let's go to this and then copy the uh, website link. Okay. Yes. So now let's run it. So you can see that the Selenium dot website is launched in Chrome browser now. Okay. But uh, I'll just add a quit driver dot quit okay so this method will actually uh, you know close the browser as well so let's run this so you noticed it was in a very fraction of second it opened and then closed so we will add thread dot sleep okay we'll give this is a hard way basically it is not suggested uh, but just for our understanding we will do this okay thread dot sleep so you can see for two seconds it will be open and then it uh, got closed okay so uh, here one quick catch is in selenium 3 we were using a, a way where we have to externally we have to set the property of the uh, browser executables okay uh, browser drivers basically but in selenium 4 we do not have to do that we do not have to set the property so that is one catch so you have to remember this so in selenium 4 you do not have to set the property uh, let's also run this particular piece of code in other browsers let's uh, say let's copy this code and then line okay uh, now we will run it in firefox driver okay using fi in firefox browser we will run it firefox driver so there is an error you just have to import the Firefox driver. So then the error will be gone. Okay. And now we will execute this. So it is running. It is already running. Yes. Yeah. So now you can see that it launched Firefox browser and then it launched the website as well. Okay, driver.get. So get is the method, use it to launch any uh, or if you want to go to any specific website, then this get method should be used. Okay, and now let's have which browser we will execute this in edge driver. Okay using edge browser okay so one thing what do you need to do is import the this particular edge driver that itself is done that package is done installed now imported now and then just run it yes this is where it launched edge browser and then executed uh, so this is our 
very first test so here we noticed that we were able to launch chrome browser and then firefox browser and then edge browser using the selenium okay so basically these are the devices supported by selenium so we tried it in chrome edge and then uh, firefox for ie and safari you can try so this is specific to the apple browser safari okay and then you can refer to the documentation and then give a try so if you're going so you basically we are uh, using java here so you can opt for java or python c sharp whichever language your preferred language is okay so and then you can cover and one another thing is we also spoke about system dot set property which was used in the earlier version of selenium right so here we uh, it has been handled by web driver manager so we explicitly do not have to specify the path of the browser drivers so that is one patch in selenium 4 so hopefully you got to know how you can run uh, your test on different browsers if you have liked this video please do like it share it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching bye bye